I think it's safe to say that Eric Ten Hag's signings have been pretty damn impressive so far. Early doors this season for Manchester United. With Lissandro Martinez, for me, standing out as the signing so far. And I'm not really one to sort of jump ahead with knee-jerk reactions. But in this video, I want to explain why I genuinely feel that Lissandro Martinez is probably going to prove to be the most important signing that we've made as a football club for 10 years. Now, some of you might say, Sam, this is way too early to judge and say something like that. But please take a look at this video. Listen to what I've got to say and then leave your comment at the end of it. Because I really genuinely do feel this is more a bit of foresight as to what I can see coming ahead rather than something that's massively just a knee-jerk reaction. You can let me know what you think in the comments and make sure you do subscribe to United People's TV and join and become part of the community. It's growing. I love it. I'd love you to be part of it as well. Hit the notifications bell as well. But when it comes to signings at Manchester United, 10 years is a really good marker because 10 years ago, we signed Robin Van Persie in 2012. I think it was 17th of August 2012, to be absolutely specific. Manchester United lost the league on goal difference to City the season before. What are we going to do? We signed Van Persie. It was an incredible signing that transformed that team into a title-winning season for Fergie. And I'll be completely honest, in the 10 years since, there aren't that... I mean, the bar's not particularly high. We can literally scroll through this. Van Persie in 2012. Year after we signed Wan Mata. And that was a good signing, but still Van Persie was a more important signing than Wan Mata. The year after. Di Maria, get in the bin. Luke Shaw, good signing. Leave it at that. Herrera, good. Nobody there. Rojo, Blind, decent signings. Nothing more than decent. The year after. Anthony Martial, decent. Nardlin, crap. Memphis, Matteo Darmian, Feinsteiger. The year after, Paul Pogba, I suppose a play that we thought was going to be one of our most important signings. Didn't prove that to, to be that case at all. The year after, Lukaku and Matic and Lindelof. Okay signings. Fred, Delo, Grant. You can see, I don't even have to get to the top of it. In fact, I do have to get to the top of it. That's a lie. Let me show you one player down there. Gee, Sam, I've ruined that bit. Because I think this is the only other player that you can have a conversation about. Bruno Fernandes, I think, could be involved in this conversation. But I just personally feel that this man, and now I want to explain exactly why. That's the context of it. Ten years ago, we signed Van Persie. We've signed a lot since. Some may be good, some may be shit. Actually, the majority have been bad. But in this man, in Lissandro Martinez, it's not just because of how he is as a footballer. I mean, he's a very good ball-playing centre-back. But it's, it's the timing of it, the fact that Ten Hag is our manager and what we're trying to do and what we're trying to achieve, where we're trying to come from and where we're trying to get towards. And there's just so many different facets why I think that this man is really going to prove himself to be the most important signing that we have made in 10 years. Now, something that Ten Hag has done since day one, something that Ten Hag will continue to do, is try and change how our club operates. Maybe not operationally, but in terms of as a football team, in terms of what those players do every single day in training, in terms of the discipline he's trying to introduce back into a squad which is just desperately and has been desperately lacking it for so long. And that's why Lissandro Martinez is the perfect embodiment of that. Eric Ten Hag in Lissandro Martinez as a player that he can point towards and say, what's your excuse? Not, not point towards Martinez and say, what's yours? Point to everybody else and say, well, look at what Lissandro's doing. Look at what Lissandro has done since day one in coming in at Manchester United. Hell, even some of you players who have been here for years, you're far more settled than Lissandro is. But if he can do it, what's your excuse? And when it comes to any new manager, Mourinho was the did it. Mourinho always brought in, look, we turned into the Space Jam villains when, for, when he came in. With Popper, with Ibrahimovic, with Matic and all the huge players that we signed. Managers sign players that help make their system function better at a football club. And Mr. Martinez will do that for Ten Hag. He's a ball-playing centre-back. Tactically, there's a lot to love. But it's, it, that's, that, for me, is, what, is the feeling that is a little bit deeper with Martinez. It's not just about how good he is with the ball at his feet, how good he is at line-breaking passes, and how much he suits the Ten Hag style of football. It's everything he mentally brings on top of that. But just for me makes him more than just a good signing. 
and that's why i've been why that's why i'm personally comfortable enough to do this video and to have this conversation because i truly believe it it's not just me saying it for the sake of doing a video i wouldn't norm i wouldn't do that i genuinely do believe that he could prove to be one of the most important signings we've made in 10 years now you'll know that how the stories have developed with Ten Hag and how he's trying to change this dressing room and, and the sort of the, me the mentality and the approach of the players. Samuel Luckhurst for releasing an article this morning in the Manchester Evening News saying, look, Ten Hag has been described as unforgiving of poor professionalism, sloppiness or lack of effort, and his decisiveness with team selections has been welcomed by some players. And again, that's the point I was trying to get towards there. Ten, <laughs> well, we have been sloppy. We've... The poor professionalism. I mean, look, last season we bent over for Liverpool nine nil. We got beaten by Liverpool across the course of two Premier League games, and so many different games and situations and scenarios where the players just they just checked out sometimes before the first kick even happened in a game. But with Martinez, Eric Ten Hag has somebody that he can hold up as his sort of example. This is where we need to get towards. And it makes Ten Hag's job significantly easier having these examples to use because it brings their levels up everywhere else. As some more information from that article from the Manchester Evening News, it said, look, Ten Hag has impressed figures at United and sources say the club has quickly bought into his ideas. Ten Hag has balanced his personable nature with discipline management. That has kept those at Carrington on their toes. Now, I actually said that in my um, live stream this morning, so it's weird that came out at this afternoon eric ten Hag for me has has fine has got a better balance of control and respect than any manager post fergie Moyes didn't have any control and he didn't have any respect because of it i think van Howe had a lot of respect and a lot of control at the start but i think it the start of football jarred so much with the players that he eventually snapped and broke and jose Mourinho. He certainly had the respect of players when he came in because of his record. And he, I don't know how much control he ever had. And I think the respect dwindled when that start of management jarred with certain players. And that snapped. Solskjaer, I don't think he ever really truly had control. He had a lot of respect, but not control. And that's where Ten Hag is different, I think. He's got the balance of the control. He's, he, he's disciplined. Everybody buys in. And he's got the respect of the players to do that. And... I just don't see how Martinez can be... Uh, maybe it's because I haven't seen a player like Martinez with that sort of attitude play for United for so damn long that when I see it, I'm over-exaggerating it in my head. That's probably part and parcel of it. But when we've been served on, on a diet of shit for 10 years, near enough 10 years, players like Martinez stand out. For me, he's playing like a future captain. We talk about this lack of leadership, this, this lack of characters, the lack of personality in Manchester United's dressing room and all these conversations about cliche things that we've been missing and what we need and blah, 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 blah. And it's where he stands out. Head and shoulders above everybody else. Even though the fact that he's head and shoulders below everybody else because he's only five foot nine hasn't really stopped him having this sort of physical... It's an impact. It's a mental impact that he's had in this team. And it's also a physical impact on this team. He's bringing the levels up. And he's setting a new minimum and a new standard that the manager can now point towards and say, look, lads, you either jump on board and you deliver what Martinez is doing, or I'm going to ship you out of the team. Ronaldo, on the bench. Shaw, on the bench. Maguire, on the bench. Doesn't matter how much you're on, your wages a week. Doesn't matter what your name is. Doesn't even matter if you've got an armband that says captain on it. You can be dropped if you don't meet the same sort of standards that this man is now setting. And it, that's why I feel it's, it could be the most important signing in 10 years. Because everything, it feels right timing-wise. Not just his quality on the ball. It's not just his personality. It's not just his character. It's not just all of those facets. It's all of that at the same time as Ten Hag has come in and he's trying to take our club to where we want it to be. And Martinez, for me, I think he's the future captain of the club. I think Maguire has shown this year that that captain's armband is not, well, it's not just shown this year that that captain's armband is not for him. Bruno is his vice captain. I imagine that by the time he, his career as a United, as United player is finished, I think Martinez would have worn the armband and I think he would have deserved to wear the armband. You can let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And this, as I say, might be a, an opinion that 
Uh, some of you feel he's a bit over exaggerated given the timing of it, given it's early in the season. But for me, I think it's more of a bit, in my opinion, it's more of foresight of what's coming next rather than just a reaction as to what's happened. You can let me know what you think, though. Because as I said, back in 2012, when we signed Van Persie, it was such an important signing that brought something into this team that we didn't have. We lost the league on goal difference and we won the league with the goals season, the Premier League's top scorer by signing him. Now we've lacked characters and personalities and captain material for so long. That's what he's brought to the club and more. You can let me know what you think about it, but I really do feel quite strongly about this one. I'll be very interested to know if you agree or disagree with me in the comments. Make sure you leave yours.